Stanford University. I think the main headline is that you do not need unusually high concentrations of greenhouse gases to keep water above freezing on early Earth. What's really interesting is that throughout Earth history with this increased solar luminosity, that the environmental conditions on Earth have not changed that dramatically. Any, any rock carries a memory of the environment in which it formed, and these ancient rocks that are about 3.8 billion years old, they actually carry a memory of the composition of the atmosphere at that time when they were deposited. And also, another important thing is that they were deposited in the ocean underwater, so that means that the oceans were liquid at that time. Okay, let's see what we're getting. The sun was not glowing at full power. Its luminosity, its brightness, was 20 to 30 percent less than what we have today. Just like this. The key result here is that if there is less cloud cover than there is today, then the oceans, then they will absorb more thermal energy. And even though that the sun has a lower luminosity, it will maintain the temperature of the earth above the freezing point of water. But the rocks tells us that the greenhouse effect is not the solution to the faint early sun paradox. Therefore, we have been calling upon the darkness of the planet, basically, the, that Earth was a darker object at that time and therefore absorbed more of the solar uh, radiation. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.